Hi! It's Judy from Read the Stars, your astrologer, here to tell you about the week of March 14th. I'm going to do this a little bit differently this time and have a nice long extended video. So you'll notice that. Go on the site for the details. So let's start. Okay, we talked about Uranus going into Aries last week. And yeah, Uranus went in there in a really big way. And, uh, you know, there have been a lot of things to absorb over the last few days. The poor people of Japan and the poor people in the Middle East. And, um, you know, there's just the planet's sort of really trying to adjust to this change. Because, you know, when Uranus goes into Aries, it's not just like a, a, of a, a thing of a changing from Pisces to Aries. It's really starting all over again. Because, as you probably know, we have spring coming um, next weekend. And um, spring is the time when the sun goes into Aries. So it's sort of like a new cycle because it's the first sign in the zodiac. See, so that's how it works. So Uranus is kind of coming in uh, to Aries with a bigger bang than even I expected. And I expected a pretty big bang. So um, it's, it's kind of hard to absorb. And you're going to see that reflected in people this Monday and Tuesday if you're going back to school. Or if you're going on break, you know, you might even really not feel like doing what you're supposed to be doing because you'll still have part of your head trying to wrap it all around everything that you're, you're hearing. So the moon's going to be in Cancer, so it's a good time to process your emotions. It's not a good time for thinking and making clear decisions, but as I say, it's a good time to process those emotions. And there are going to be people who are not going to be able to tolerate the emotional tone very well. Um, this might be people like Aries and Aquarius, a little bit people with Sagittarius, um, but you know, the people who don't really want to hear or know about emotions because they just feel there are too many other things to do in the world. However, if you happen to be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, you will have a particularly hard time getting back to your routine or to your vacation, whatever it is that you're doing on Monday. When we get to Tuesday, um, things will clear up a little bit, and you'll still be a little bit mulling over things. But my suggestion is this. The Cancer Moon is all about nurturing. And really the best way to get over something that's going on in our own head is to take it outside and to take care of somebody else. So find somebody around you who could use a little TLC and care for them, you know, mother them a little bit. Um, buy them some soup if they have a cold. Uh, make them some soup, even better. You do nice things for people, and uh, it will help you feel better, too. If, if it makes you feel good, do something that would help the people who are suffering in the many tragedies that are going on on planet Earth at the moment. Wednesday and Thursday will be a little bit easier in terms of getting back in the grind or getting used to whatever it is that you're doing for the day. The moon will be in Leo. You'll feel more like getting engaged in what you're doing. And people will take more pride in, in, you know, looking and getting involved in what they're doing rather than stepping back and saying, you know, oh, I don't know, I don't want to do that. I'm, like, really freaked out right now. Well, everybody is freaked out right now. But by Wednesday and Thursday, I think that people will be able to re-engage. We all need to because Uranus isn't done, okay? It's it's just starting, um, not predicting, you know, the whole world is going to crumble or anything like that. But we can expect to see a couple more glitches on the radar, especially this weekend, because we're going to have the first day of spring and we also have a full moon coming. So around about Thursday and Friday, the moon's going to pop into Virgo, where the full moon is going to take place. If you're a Virgo person, this is actually going to feel pretty good to you, because you're going to feel a real sense of fulfillment. Sagittarians also... You might like get your grades back for midterm and go, hey, I did pretty well. Or you might be taking your midterms and feel like you've done pretty well on a test. Um, in terms of love, that's a really good time for a Pisces. You know, maybe you'll like see a relationship come to fruition or even a friendship or a partnership of some kind. And then when the sun moves into Aries on Sunday, it will be the first day of spring. And, you know, I really, there's another piece on the site about really welcoming spring and trying to, like, put all this stuff aside, <coughs> including allergies, and <laughs> just, you know, really 
work with the positive energy that spring is. And it's about starting over, rebuilding, and have the faith that things that can, can be rebuilt. The people in Japan sure have to feel that way right now. And the people in the Middle East, too. The rest of us, we need to, like, try to support that effort. Try not to get too down and, you know, hopeless. Because there's always hope. The human spirit is strong beyond all measure, and each and every one of you has it in you, and I'm expecting great things from you. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please email me, judy at readthestars.com. Thanks.